my mind now goes back to Westgate. How many of us had their hopes and aspirations destroyed that unforgettable day? I stop for a moment, I say a prayer, which suddenly takes me back to the reality. The supermarket will soon be open, madame. That marked another milestone for Mariam Yassin, who lost her husband during the Westgate attack. An Italian citizen of Somali descent, Mariam was going back to Westgate to pay tribute to her husband. Almost the same place, so there was a big emotion I felt. And I also felt that, uh, well, there was somebody missing that used to come to, with me um, to this place all the time. So there was that momentum of sadness. But then, but then, but then life have to move on and I need and I want and I want my children to move on with life. She recalls the events of September 2013. They had gone for shopping with her husband. He just pushed me to, to a secure place and he decided to protect me with his own body. So I was just praying and I was just telling him, no, 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 if no i don't want to be here and then you know you couldn't talk and then because they could hear you so so we were together till the end yeah he he was shot and i didn't see it directly um, because i was looking on the different direction and i thank god for that because i think it would have been even worse but then i heard his last breath and uh, he died on the spot thank god um, and and then by the time I realized what happened, I was completely frozen. She bears not just the emotional but the physical scars of the attack. But Mariam triumphs where she reclaims her voice, her life. She immersed herself in the events of today, allowing herself to go through the motions of it all. Mariam says she now understands the psychological warfare waged by terrorists, but vows to never bow to their whims. We cannot live in fear and also it's God that takes life, it's not human being. Maybe they are the means, so when it's my time I will go. 38-year-old Mariam Yassin knows what it means to be broken. In fact, when her husband died during the Westgate attack, she was only two months pregnant. At the beginning, like the first four months, even going to clinic, um, just by myself, because he used to come um, for the, I mean, Till the end, he used to follow me for every blood test or anything, any clinic for the baby. So it was like uh, very sad and I was feeling alone. Mariam knows loss. She knows what it means to lose those you love and still not be allowed the space and the time to just be. And, and, and in all this, I have a great mentor and teacher. Um, my mother lost um, her husband, my, my, my late father. Um, during the war and she has forgiven and I was a teenager at that time and by just seeing her moving on um, with her life helping others setting up a charity and everything that now passed on to me and I want to, that to go to my girls. Today she masses herself in her own world the blogging space here she's free to just be. Tell yes. me more about your blog. Yeah, um, it's, um, I have just started it. It's very amateurial for now. When I write, and I was actually encouraged by my counselors because there, there was a group of women really helping me. So then I opened this blog and I started to, to just share about my challenges, about this, I call it um, Sirat. It's a Somali name for a baby. Um, and and oh, in my two pregnancies, I've been always asking myself, should I call this baby Sirat if it's a girl? So I never managed. I became name came. So I decided to call my blog Sirat, and I call it, you know, my path to forgiveness, because that's what I have decided to to actually um, try and see how it goes. Because revenge, bad feelings, is something very heavy. And I think it's the best gift I can give to myself and to my children, just to forgive, accept, and move on. There, the woman who chose to triumph 
over evil. The woman who epitomizes strength in the face of adversity. The woman who says it can be done. For Citizen Weekend, I am Anne Mawade.